Welcome back. Living Room Sports continues here on KDKA. Special guest, Willie Parker, Max Starks. And now we're going to do our Pick a Side segment where we ask these guys random questions and we look for an answer that is befitting their personalities. And today we're going to change it up a bit. Rich, my colleague, will be part of this as well. Here's your first question. Would you rather be able to fly or have super strength? Ooh, fly. I love traveling. <laughs> Willie? I say fly too. I love just getting around fast, quick. This is something I always thrive off of. I'm with those guys. It's a no-brainer for me. I'd like to fly. Next question. NASA just released pictures of UFOs. Do you think aliens exist? Yes or no? Yes. And it would be it would be naive not to think that there's other life somewhere. Yes, I think there's other life in this galaxy. I think there's things that we don't think exists, but exists. 100%, yes. Actually, one of us could be an alien. We don't know. All right, with the temperature soaring now into the 90s, the question is, if you had to pick one, would you rather be too hot or too cold? Ooh, I, I'd, ra I'd rather be too hot than too cold. Me, I'd rather be too cold. I'd much rather be too hot. All right, Max, better pet, a dog or a cat? Dogs, all the way. I mean, dogs love you. They're attentive. When you've had a bad day, it doesn't matter. You're the center of their universe when you come home. I've had my Rhodesian Leo for the better part of 10 years. I love that dog. Uh, he might get on my last nerves, but at least he's always welcome. And he never he never wavers in, in, in his love for me. <laughs> a dog. That's a man's best friend. Dog. <laughs> I got an Australian Shepherd. I love her. So dog for me. Next choice, would you rather live in a city or the country? Uh, I'm a kid that grew up in the city, but uh, something about the country is about the land. I, I like the country. Country. I'd rather, I'd rather have to sit out on my own land and, and just, just daily just figure things out and have my own fun and, and you know, attack the day however I want to attack it. Well, I'm a city guy, so it would be city for me. I grew up in the city. I love the city. Um, I, I don't know if I, I don't know what I would do in the country. I, I, I'd probably lose my mind. All right, who's a better player? Look back, Michael Jordan or LeBron James? Uh, listen, I was a ball boy for the Magic from 1995 to 2000. So I watched Michael Jordan firsthand. Michael Jordan will always have forever be my, my, the best basketball player in my favorite of all time. Michael Jordan, all-time basketball player, um, hands down. He's that's biased. Um, You're from North Carolina, and they get always, <laughs> it doesn't count. <laughs> it doesn't count. But I will say this though, LeBron James, he has definitely like turned some things around this generation. He's definitely doing a lot of stuff on and off the court. Um, He's definitely an alien. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Michael Jordan as well. I grew up around the same around the same age as you guys. But I have a quick question for Max. Who has bigger feet, you or Shaq? Oh, Shaq by far. But I just I had to stuff the toes of the shoes when Shaq would give me shoes so they would fit. Because if not, they would flop. <laughs> what size shoe you wear, Max? I wear a 19. 19? Yes, yeah, big. How do you get a 19 shoe? Where do you have to go? Listen. I had a long talk with, with Nike about that. All right, here's a good one for you. Who would win in a fight, a polar bear or a gorilla? Where's the fight taking place? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> see, I, I, I would think the agility goes to the gorilla. But if all things are equal, neutral sight, I'd probably give it to the gorilla just based on size and ferocity. <laughs> Me, I, I think really the... the... Polar bear will probably have a, a shot, but I think the gorilla's strength just a, a dominator. So I'm, go, I'm going both right here. I'm sitting this one out. <laughs> I, I think, I keep thinking the, the polar bear, they have claws that'll rip you apart and they have teeth, but the gorilla's strength is just amazing. I'd rather fly on this one. Do we know <laughs> if a gorilla is stronger than a polar bear? I, I I would go with the polar. I mean, a polar bear has the big teeth, like Willie said. Next question. What do you prefer, chips or pretzels? Oh, chips. I'm a kettle chip guy. And especially if you get the salt and pepper, like kettle, kettle chips, 
I'm all in. I mean, pretzels are good, but you can't really dip pretzels with anything outside of like a cheese dip or something, you know, or mustard. That That's really all you can do with a pretzel. A chip, you can put in anything. I'm, I'm more of a kettle chip barbecue guy. And um, I, I never really got into pretzels for some reason, but um, I don't I don't dip my chips like Max does, but uh, I just have it. I have a flavor, just barbecue chips. Amazing, hands down. I'm a wise barbecue chip guy. Snyder barbecue chip too. One of those two. Yeah, you do it for me. As you probably know, Rich Walsh and I are avid golfers, play a lot. But in your opinions, is golf really a sport? Yes, I will say that. And I will admit how bad I am, but I am persistent at being bad and I will keep going back. Mm. Yes, it's a sport. Um, anything you have to work towards, like to get better at the skill, it's a sport. Anything you compete against someone else, it's a sport. So I think competition very high. Just like we were speaking a little earlier, Bob, you told me you took down Rich in golf. <laughs> that was great. You got so, it, baby. Why'd you have to bring that up, Willie? That's what makes it a sport. <laughs> and not only is it a sport, but I'm gonna go out and say Tiger Woods is the best, best athlete of all time. Next question, which was the better rivalry for you guys, the Browns or the Ravens? Ravens, by far. The day, the week after that game, you were still feeling the effects of that previous game. So whoever scheduled after the Ravens knew they had a better shot of beating us because we played the Ravens. The, the Ravens, most definitely by far. Um, you, you feel you feel that game. Um, I know a few times you probably won't start practicing until Thursday, like uh, the following week. Um, the Ravens definitely. It was brutal. Well, since I'm just a reporter and a fan, I would say the Ravens. All right, you're both from this era. Which is a worse haircut, the bowl cut or the mullet? Uh, I, 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 well, I, I, I don't have the requisite hair to have a mullet, but I have donned a frolic before. And what so is that? It's an African mullet. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a oh. mullet. Um, but I would have to say the bowl cut. Lloyd Christmas is one of those you can't get past. Hundred percent. Bowl cut the worst. Um, um, <laughs> it's just the worst. Doesn't look right. You know. You can do it. You can do it. You can do a little bit more, more design and make it a little bit better than just having a little round shape on your head. I keep thinking of Dumb and Dumber. I need a haircut right now, by the way. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks. Always fun to do that segment. When we come back, we're going to ask our guests about their favorite haunts when living in Pittsburgh. That's next on Living Room Sports. <laughs> 